Greetings, Internet. Welcome back to But I'm Still a Good Person by Vince Nicholas. Today I'm joined by my sparkling wife, Carolyn Nicholas. Hi. Hello, honey. Thank you for joining me at the dining room table uh, to guest on this podcast. Although you're sort of like a co-host now. Uh, you've been elevated. You got the promotion. Yes. You'll, you'll see that extra 10 cents in your <laughs> check, girl. Uh, today we are going to review in and out in and out the beloved uh, California hamburger stand franchise. One of my favorites. Yeah. If, if you're from California, it started in Southern California, but it's, it's definitely a California thing. Yeah. Uh, they do very few products. They do very few uh, items, food items. They do them extremely well. I think they're universal. I would say they're universally beloved. Uh, and they were a staple with me growing up with you also. Yeah, me too. I remember when I was pretty young, uh, getting excited because they were expanding more in Northern California. Mm -hmm. You grew up in Southern California. I grew right. up Northern California. Yeah. But definitely that was a, a place we went to a lot when I was growing up. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when I remember going, see, I, I don't, well, we got one in our area uh, and the, it was in Carmel Mountain Ranch and uh, used to go there with friends and family, uh, but love it, still love it. Uh, and today we dine there. Uh, for lunch and we're going to review uh, the location we went to is in West Sacramento. It's about 12 minutes from here. Uh, it's near the Ikea and the Walmart in that shopping center. And even though it's West Sacramento, it's like on the other side of West Sacramento. You said 12 minutes. It feels so far when we're driving there. Yeah, there it's are quite lights. The track. Right. There are lights but, and there, there, there are several lights and you could take the freeway, but then you have to take two freeways, like 50 to 80. It, it's it, when when we go to that area of West Sacramento, <laughs> it's like going into the hinterlands, the uh, lawless, tribalist border region. Uh, but we like coming back <laughs> to uh, the south. Do we live in the Southport area? I don't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, we're near the Target. It's it's nicer over here. Let's just say that. Uh, so it's uh, near the IKEA and Walmart. The cuisine ethnicity. Uh, you get burgers, <laughs> burgers and fries. Very simple menu. Um, ambiance, decor, 50s diner. Yeah. Lots of white, lots of red, a little yes. yellow. Those are their uh, uh, noteworthy uh, colors. Uh, but very uh, minimal, very stripped down on the mm -hmm. inside. We we did the drive through um, Staff, I would say super friendly, always super helpful. Um, yeah. They, yeah. And they're, you always hear about in and out pays more. They yeah. treat their employees uh, better. And so, it comes across. Right. And so they recruit uh, just a, a all-around better person as opposed to the the uh, depressed dejects who work at the Taco Bell. Um, today, I noticed that uh, the employees were uh, very young and very skinny. Like, I remember when I worked at a fast food, I worked at McDonald's. I, w I, I was not skinny when I started there. And I gained weight because <laughs> you had McDonald's. All you, all you want, all you could eat. Mm. Actually... Because they, they gave us a uniform. They give you a uniform. Mm -hmm. I, it was a, a red and gray striped polo and then like dark blue pants. And that was your uniform. And I remember I got my uniform first day, first week or whatever when I first started. And then the pants <laughs> started having trouble fitting around <laughs> my bottom because I ate so many gosh darn fries and burgers and uh, chicken McNuggets and... Uh, uh, yeah, I remember uh, struggling to put those on quite quickly <laughs> because I indulged in McDonald's because I was an employee. And uh, even though they were technically supposed to charge us for meals, that never happened. Uh, so the staff is always out of going, seemed to be a, a, a very happy, maybe too happy. <laughs> uh, it seems like a positive work environment. Yeah. Uh, the speed of service uh, from the time we paid. And we'll get into the whole process, but uh, from the time we paid uh, to when we got our food, it was about seven minutes. Um, and it would have been faster, but your animal style fries, for whatever reason, <laughs> took a little longer. Yeah. Um, it took about, I think, actually <clears throat> two or three minutes, but very quick. And they, they make well, all this stuff fresh. It's not quick compared to every other fast food drive through Well, that's true. That's but, true. Yeah, like you said, I... Uh, they're not throwing a frozen patty in the microwave for 30 seconds. Right. Uh, yeah, I think they make things fresh. They yeah. like cut the fries there. And also, you might bring this up soon, but we were the first mm -hmm. patrons of the day. We first were. in line. Yeah. So, um, 
forgot where I was going with that thought. Uh, <laughs> speed, <laughs> uh, efficiency. <laughs> well, back to my McDonald's days. Um, yeah, with, with like with McNuggets, you made a huge bag of. 40 50 mcnuggets and you just threw them in the warming tray and when someone came in and ordered a 10 piece you would just grab the 10 piece but at uh in and out and you can see this if you go inside because it's an open kitchen it's right there but they're making everything fresh oh, yeah i know i was gonna say we we're the first in line so we know it wasn't any other orders that were holding us up right with, that's true um yeah. And there were heck of cars behind us <laughs> yeah that's the other thing that's why the line is always so long yeah because it takes longer to get your food. It's, it's worth it. It's high quality, right? It's really not that long, like seven minutes. Yeah, that's not bad. Right. Uh, and okay, so before we start to get to the food, let's get to the ordering process and the locale, the location. Uh, In and Out has no online ordering. There's no app. You can't order from the website. Uh, like Carl's Jr. doesn't have an app or ordering from the website, but they will link you to DoorDash or Grubhub or whatever. Um, in and out doesn't want to do that. And they used to be listed on, I want to say DoorDash. I just read yeah. the article this morning. Mm -hmm. Uh, but they were like, get it. We don't want, we don't want your DoorDash drivers coming in, uh, because essentially they want people to enjoy their food right away or as quickly as possible. Right. So you get your ass to the drive through or come on inside and eat your food. Uh, if you're sitting inside, here's your food, eat it. Uh, if if you're in the drive through here's your food. Get your ass home <laughs> or get your get your bootay to the park and enjoy your food. They don't want – because DoorDash drivers, sometimes they can be delayed. Sometimes they get other orders. Right. Sometimes they get a more profitable order, so they ditch you. <laughs> they ditch your order, which has happened to us. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I wonder if that's the only reason In-N-Out decided not to do the delivery services. I think so, yeah. Well, well that's what I read. Uh, they, they want you to – uh, to enjoy the food and things happen with DoorDash where it can take a half hour to an hour. Um, and then you, you have, you hear the stories of the DoorDash drivers who grab a couple fries for themselves. Mm -hmm. They're hungry. Uh, and, and you, you might tip bad. So, uh, mm -hmm. what, what's, what's the loss of a fry, but you, and so you can't order it. Uh, you have to go there and, oh, and they don't do takeout. So if DoorDash were to include them, uh, as their service, they would have to, a DoorDash driver would have to go there and then order. And it would, it, it would already, it would make the ordering process even longer. They don't do takeout. You mean you cannot call and you order food. Correct. You cannot call. Okay. Uh, so you have to go there. Okay. Uh, menu, simple, straightforward, uh, burgers, fries, shakes, and some, uh, some beverages. That's it. I love it. I love uh, it too. There, there's no egg rolls like Jack in the Crack. <laughs> uh, they're not out here with the breakfast menu, although we enjoy fast food breakfast, but I, I enjoy keeping it pared down. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, like, well, you talk about Jack in the Box. I, when I start looking at their menu, I, I want everything. <laughs> I want like eight, nine different things because their menu is so vast. It's yeah. like uh, the Cheesecake Factory. So uh, they, they do, again, burgers, fries. And even like the the stripped down burger um, places like Shake Shack, they get into different shakes. And I know they had a chicken sandwich and a Korean barbecue oh. uh, chicken sandwich. So they're kind of expanding. They had sweet potato fries at one right. point. They have more sides too, like onion rings, I think. Yeah, but Stuff they started like as very simple. Uh, but they're trying to branch out for whatever reason. In and out, nah, fam. I hope In and Out never changes. Right, they're they're so good at just what they do, and it's part of their uh, it's like trademark mm -hmm. or something they're known for. Also, is mm -hmm. not trademark. They're known for uh, their, their je ne sais menu. quoi. Yeah, yes, that's the word. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, so on the way over there, uh, you had a little because we were gonna we did drive through, and you wanted me to order your order. Okay. And, and I, I was going to, so I had my order ready. I had this all written down. I had it on, on my telephone. Uh, I had my order ready. I had the, the, the wow chows, our child's uh, orders ready. And then you wanted me to say your order because you had a, a few customizations. And I was like, just order Honey, yes. I want listeners, listeners, I want you to drop down in the comment section below. Yes. And let us know how you and your significant other do this. If you're driving in mm. the driver's seat yeah. through the drive through yeah. then you are responsible for speaking the order, in, mm. the order into the little speaker thing. Mm. If, but, if the order is simple, like I want a small Diet Coke, but you had... <laughs> 
was well, so well, my order was simple. But honey, you and you don't do this just today. Like every time we go get fast food, yeah. you say your order and then you like look at me and like motion for me to y- lean over you and yell out the window my order. Really? Why do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> But do I do that? Yes. Well, I, well not every time, maybe, but you do that. I think if it's, if well, I, I'm in the wrong. If it's a simple order, uh, yeah, you can transfer your order. But you you got the animal fries with extra sauce. Your hamburger had no onion on it, <laughs> protein style. So there was all these yeah. variations, and I didn't want to flub or choke or mess it up. And then, mm. then, then that would become a, a little conversation between us, uh, <laughs> be, and, and the embarrassment in front of the drive-through speaker would begin, <laughs> and we would have a little uh, <laughs> fracas. I just wonder if the person on the other side of the speaker taking our order is like it's jarring when they, a deep male voice has been talking, and then suddenly here's my voice. <laughs> Are is, they like, whoa, what's happening? Is it, this a different it, car? That's true. It, it it is a bit disconcerting, but again, as a ex uh, fast food employee, you just want you you. <laughs> Well, first of all, you hate your job. Although at the in and out you probably don't hate, but let me speak to specifically to McDonald's. You hate your job, you hate your life, you hate the customers even more. <laughs> and you just want as little uh, verbal communication as possible. So let, I, I would say cut, let's cut down on the errors, the possible mistakes. If I ordered your burger uh, animal style yeah. and it should be And then I'd be style. like, no, no, I didn't right. want it. Right, and then it gets all awkward. And And then we start yelling at each other. Right, and then it gets cringe, (laughs) as Luna Marie, darling daughter, would say, cringe, (laughs) embarrassing. Uh, So... Uh, well, I ordered for me and the our children, and then you ordered for yourself. And you you were also conflicted at what to order. So you wanted you didn't know. Well, you, you had all sorts of uh, anxiety and aggravation, honey. <laughs> and you kept saying, "You have two minutes to decide." <laughs> right, we are on the way. You better you better listen up, soldier. <laughs> you better it's showtime, bro. Uh, you you wanted you didn't know if you wanted a uh, protein style. Or regular style, protein style, they wrap the burger in uh, a couple pieces of lettuce. like A lot of lettuce. Really, yeah, thick pieces of lettuce. And then you didn't know if you wanted onions, and then you didn't know if you wanted those onions cooked or raw. Um, what did you... Why would why'd you have so much aggravation? <laughs> well, I definitely didn't want them raw, because mm-hmm. I went into this whole spiel to you, saying I do not like raw onions except for on my salads. Mm. Anyway, okay. But I was debating, should I get grilled onions right. on my burger? Right. Um, but then I I did decide I wanted the protein style. Yeah. And so then I was debating, well, do I really want grilled onions on a protein style? Right. Ugh, such a hard decision. Which, and but you you got no onions. I ended up going with no onions. Mm-hmm. Protein style burger. Yeah. Because on a, honestly, the, the protein style, while quote unquote healthy, because you're cutting all the carbs, you're getting rid of the bread, uh, it... it it kind of turns into a salad. <laughs> it kind of falls <laughs> apart. And if you throw in grilled onions, on hot grilled onions in there as kind of mm. slippery and slimy and just another uh, liquid, liquidy element, yes. um, it's just going to become more of a mess. It was very messy. I, I, yeah. I'm happy I went with no onions. Yeah. I, I've, I've done a uh, protein style before and it... After the first few bites, things start falling <laughs> left and right, and uh, it's like it's like a, a giant building and an earthquake, and it starts uh, tumbling down, and it it just turns into a salad, a delicious uh, mess of a, a salad, a fine salad. But I I wanted a burger, so uh, I got the cheeseburger. Uh, that the this uh, particular location opens up at ten thirty a.m., not eleven, mm. uh, and this is Saturday morning, so. We went over there. We were there at 1028 a.m. Uh, because because uh, we had to feed our children uh, French fries for breakfast because we're, we're great parents. Don't call CPS. Um, but we got there. Okay, so th- this was a whole deal in itself. So we get there at about 1028. And we pull up. And there's a couple cars kind of hanging back in the parking lot waiting to go into the drive-thru. Did they end up going in the drive through? Yes. Okay. So they were waiting for the clock to tick to 1030 or an employee to come out. Because sometimes when the queue gets really bad, the line gets bad, they have uh, employees come out. I know they had like they had umbrellas out there for employees so that they don't get sunburned. And Chick-fil-A does this, too. They come to your car. They punch in your order. Um, 
And so I'm not, but there were three, three cars just kind of hanging back. Yeah. No one, no one really <laughs> I don't willing, understand. daring to go into the drive through yet. I don't understand why you wouldn't just pull up and wait right by the speaker. Right. So odd. And that, it was very confusing. It was very confusing. We didn't know what was going on. <laughs> uh, but so, so uh, <laughs> uh, an angel from above who was in an in and out van, <laughs> which we've never seen before. I've never seen it. it. It's not like an in and out food truck where if they're catering uh, some event, <clears throat> you see those every once in a while, like the giant uh, trailer home, essentially, where they serve up a bunch of burgers at a, an event or a, right. a party or whatever. But this was, was a truck. It was a white work van. Yes. That had the in and out logo on it and some yes. in and out like color, like stripes around it. Yes. Honestly, I want one of those. <laughs> Where do we get one? I know. Uh, and and so the guy driving that van, he just yells out, "Yeah, they're open. Go in." And <clears throat> for I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "They're open. Pull up. Go. Go in. Go. Go." And I was like, oh, "Okay." And I don't know if the other we were the closest to him, but the other people had their windows down up. Yeah. My, our, my window was down, okay. so we were first in. We were first. We, we were, were first. No, we're number one. <laughs> we're number one. First order of the day. Uh, yeah. And uh, so we, we got in there. Uh, we pulled up. And uh, we had our order ready. Uh, ordered. I ordered, again, for myself and the Wow Chows, our, our darling children. You ordered for yourself. Um, a few things about the drive through ordering process. You get through your order. First of all, they read back my order, but it was too quick. Oh, they read it so quick. And they don't have a screen that shows you what you ordered. Right. Right. They, they're taking this 1950s thing a little <laughs> too far. I, I need a big television screen. <laughs> they haven't changed a thing since they first opened. <laughs> I, I need an 80-inch plasma TV with graphics and, uh, and motion. Uh, yeah, and and because like I got the number two, which is the cheeseburger fries drink meal, but he didn't say a number two. He just said yeah. cheeseburger with extra onion, and I was just like, "What?" He said it so quickly. Yeah, and he, he went through we we went through everything we ordered, which is about eight nine items. Um, but it was, and I I I didn't know if he got everything right. I was I was I was just hoping and praying that he was like, <laughs> "Okay, yeah, that's what we got." Because again, uh, as a drive through employee. You don't want to hear from the customers. You want as little interaction and communication as possible. I don't want to bother him. Uh, well, you would have had to say, oh, could you repeat that more slowly? Right. Like, <laughs> could you slow it down a moment? I'm really dumb. Just say yes and hope for the best. Right. Exactly. Uh, and then the, and then they ask you uh, near the end of the drive through ordering process, are you going to eat this in your car? They've always done that. <laughs> yeah. Like... I don't. That, I still don't get it. That's an invasion of privacy. <laughs> that's I, none of your business. Yeah. Well, what it, I do in my car when I leave this drive-through is listen, none of your I was, concern. I was gonna eat this all, <laughs> this, this these nine items by myself, okay, in your parking lot with my air conditioning on max, uh, because I'm really obese. Oh wait, that's what I used to do, honey, when I was really fat. Okay. Um, well, essentially, eating car means they put it in little cardboard boxes. Like when you go to a baseball game and you order nachos, they give you a little cardboard box uh, and a drink to kind of yeah. just keep it together in your lap. And then if you're not eating in the car, again, an invasion of privacy, <laughs> let me do me. Why, why are you all up in my business? Okay. Uh, if you're not eating in the car, they're, which assumes I, I, they're, they're kind of saying you're going to go home and eat it. By yourself, fat boy. I wish, they would, boy. I wish yeah. they would say, "Do you want a bag or a box?" Yes. <gasps> I'm that might be. That. But see, then that would are well, what kind of box? Like a moving box? Well, if you're going to In and Out, you know. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Yeah. Are there they, any In and Out newbies out there? They still haven't. Well, I mean, even if I was, because I've eaten many a fast food meal in my car. Yeah. Put it in a bag. No one else does that, and yeah, you're right. right. Everywhere you go. I often have eaten in my car. Who cares? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> just give me my food. Just throw it in my mouth and move my jaw up and down so I can chew. Um, oh, and reading reading our order back super fast. First of all, the speaker got the guy in the speaker read it fast, and then we saw him IRL in person. Hello, Mr. Speaker. Oh, was that the same guy? I think so. I hope so. Maybe. Well, okay. So speaker person uh, read it really quickly. We, uh, we drive up to the first window yes. where you pay. Guy who took our payment repeated the order super fast. Uh, maybe I hope that's uh, quick. It was, it was fast, but at the same time, it was awkward because 
it, it seemed to take him a while because the entire time he was talking, reading our order, you you and he were like exchanging the card, doing mm-hmm. the payment. Mm-hmm. And he was, by the time the payment was done, he was already, or he was still saying our order. Yeah. And then he said, is that correct? And you're, y- yeah. And we'd already paid and everything. <laughs> well, they do the thing where they hand you the, the little uh, credit card pad. Yeah. And they don't take the credit card. And I'm always like, oh, oh. I, well, am I working here? Am I on the payroll? Do I have to put my card in here? Can't you just take my card and run it through the zippity doodah over there? Um, and then, oh, so speaker man, quick, uh, payment guy, quick. And then uh, when we pulled up to the second window, the lady uh, who was taking orders also was speaking really quickly, <laughs> reading back uh, orders to uh, the oh, cars yeah. behind us. We heard her, yes. Yeah, and one order she mentioned was six double doubles <laughs> was it for uh, okay so well let's let's break this down was it six double doubles for six people for three people or for one sad fat person <laughs> but it was 50 bucks six double doubles and i i was i was just like i want to know more yeah i want to know their story it reminds me of uh when we when we saw uh that family Outside oh. of Peace Cuisine. So over in a different part of West Eating Sacramento. Eating out of the trunk of their car. Yeah. There, there's a Little Caesars right next to a Chinese restaurant called Peace Cuisine. And we saw this family uh, in a, like a giant SUV, Chevy Suburban. And uh, they were, ha- half of them, <laughs> they, they were all sitting in their seats. There were, about, there were six of them. So two driver, passenger, three in the back seat, and then one kid slash guy uh, in the trunk area yeah. where you put blankets and, and a spare tire and whatnot. And half of them were eating uh, Little Caesars. <laughs> the other half were eating styrofoam uh, takeout cuisine. out of Peace Cuisine. And uh, and they were they were all enjoying their food in their Chevy what? Suburban. And it was disconcerting. And let's be honest, they were uh, not a skinny family. They were a large uh, people. And it was just very odd. It was like how fortunate that Little Caesars and Peace Cuisine are right next to each other, and this family got the best of both. They got to compromise. Sure, that's one way to look at it, <laughs> sweetie. Uh, yeah, that was that was a uh, that was quite the, the thing to take in. Uh, so we asked for ketchup and salt. Back to In and Out. <laughs> we asked for ketchup and salt. Not a lot of ketchup for. Mm-hmm. We had three fries and then your animal fries. Right. I guess that qualifies as four fries. Would you say the animal fries are? There's more fries in there than the regular fries. It's hard to tell because it's in it's in that tall box. Right, it's lid. a bigger box, but there's so much stuff on you top. You know what? Gloop. I think it's the same amount. Hmm. I think they just put it in that to contain all the the goo. Okay. From getting everywhere. Yeah, they they gave us more than five ketchup packets, less than ten. Uh, I think it was. We should have got more ketchup for for three fr- orders of fries. Now they don't know that darling daughter Luna Marie doesn't like <laughs> anything on her fries. Uh, We've Lennox... recently converted her to the cheese dip. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we we still haven't brought her over to the the ketchup side, the <laughs> no tomato ketchup, side, no ranch, the ketchup side, right? The ranch. Well, that's when you know she's a real Nicholas when she's part of this family. Uh, so we got some ketchup and salt. Uh, few uh fascinating facts uh noteworthy items uh you pointed this out to me they wear a apron yeah a red apron around their waist yeah the in and out employees and then they tie it in the back with a comically big safety pin yeah they, yeah it's and very you... it's very odd <laughs> it, it, it's like the size of like from my elbow to my wrist yeah it's huge I and like i it. i never noticed this I've been going in and out for what, 30 I can't believe years. I've never noticed that. It's very fun. <laughs> it is fun. And uh what well why is the why is the safety pin so big? It's it's again it's comically big. Uh just to be unique, I guess. And stand out. And how do they apply it? Do they do <laughs> yeah. they do it behind their back like a magician? I got a, a Rubik's cube behind my back. Oh, I bet you poke your hand a lot if hmm. you do that. So you Maybe have Maybe they do it for each other. Yeah. Well then then you might get into a where, where are your hands? Oh, and yeah. the, the Me Too movement might hit uh, the in and out. Incredibly in West... close to the buttocks. Right. <laughs> so what's going on there? Um, and then, oh, uh, another thing you know, you knew that I never knew before. You learn something every day, don't you? Uh, in front of every in and out and including this one, which I noticed today, their logo is the palm tree. And in front of every in and out including the one we went to today, there's they have like 
two palm trees that are crossing. They're like they, angled. They grow into like a giant, yeah, X. A giant X. And it's something noteworthy. I mean, yeah. how, how do they, where where do they, they raise those trees? I don't how know do how they, they plant those trees? It's magic. Right. Well, it's like dog breeding. It's <laughs> ethically probably <laughs> wrong <laughs> in violation of, uh, of uh, good taste. Um, but yeah, I thought that was cool. Um, oh, and then they did this thing where they put a bunch of napkins on the fries. Yeah. You... So the, our bag, our bag, our bag is open that they give it to us. Mm-hmm. And then they throw a bunch of napkins on the fries. Why do you keep, think they do that? Well, to keep them warm. But mm. really, you're wasting a bunch of napkins <laughs> that are grease uh, yes. logged. I and... mean, but that happens every time you get fast food. Like yeah. half the napkins are <laughs> unusable yeah there's so much grease yeah i thought that was uh well I, I i i appreciate it rather than them closing the bag and it being completely sealed it lets the fries breathe before mm. you eat them and poop them out uh we got <laughs> three drinks so we got three drinks a large drink and two uh shakes there's only one size of shake uh but they didn't give us a cup holder yes so we had three bags of food and then three drinks i was driving you were my only passenger and so you were kind of struggling with the... Uh, Thankfully, I found a, a spot, a slot in your car for each item. Right. So it's that little everything... side cubby pocket on the on yes. the door there. So luckily, we made it home. But you said the packaging was sloppy. Yeah. I looked inside and uh, the, your burger was tilted over. kind of looked like pieces were falling out. Oh, dear. The fries looked disarray. Uh, but when actually, when we got home and we're... I was unpacking everything. It, everything was held together much better than it seemed to be. Okay, that's good. Because uh, you're a big uh, packaging person. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> you. I'm a stickler for organized, yeah. secure packaging. If 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 uh, if the Walmart cashier doesn't package our <laughs> our uh, groceries up properly in a proper manner, in a proper manner, in a I, proper fashion, I break into a sweat. I start shaking. <laughs> My anxiety goes through the roof. You shake your head left to right. Just, I just, how, how do they how do they how are they still employed here uh okay so let's get to the actual food our uh darling children darling mm-hmm. luna darling daughter and darling darling lennox albert uh they had they each had order fries and uh lennox had a chocolate shake and luna marie had a vanilla shake now right away the fries <laughs> lennox took <laughs> first bite and he said these are cold, or they're not. Yeah. They're not hot. These aren't hot. <laughs> and yeah, as a parent, uh, when when your child is uh, disappointed in this food that you uh, <laughs> went so far, you journeyed so far, trekked across the city, right? For. And you paid. Uh, I, our total was almost like it was like twenty eight bucks. Yeah. You bring him back. Uh, you put him in front of him, and he <laughs> takes one bite. And he complains, well, it's just, you know, know, well, when I was your age, young man, uh, they both, both Lennox and Luna had to microwave this. Yeah. Yep. Uh, And how how did Luna and Lennox like their fries and their shakes? Um, Both got mediocre ratings. Right. Lennox ate maybe a third of his fries and then was like, I'm not going to eat anymore. Yeah. Yeah. but we didn't even save them because they were not worth saving. They were not good. Yeah. Uh, Luna ate all her fries mm-hmm. and all her shake. Lennox mm-hmm. almost ate all his uh, milkshake. Mm-hmm. They both agreed on an overall rating of 5.5. 5. Mm. For, that's for the fries and the shakes? Yeah. Okay. Luna said the shake was too thick. She said there was whipped... Right. She said there was whipped cream in there? I don't know. Which... I, conf- I don't think I don't there think was. I don't think there was. <laughs> <to be one. laughs> I don't think there was. I think it was just... Really thick, but then she opened it up and looked at it and said, it's thick and thin at the same time. So I don't know what was going on. It's a paradox, man. It's blowing my mind. Uh, Well, if she thinks that shake is thick, if you ever get the Jack in the Crack uh, Oreo shake, that thing, you you suck on the straw and like (laughs) the back of your head starts caving in. But you know what? It's so good. I think the shakes they usually get fast food is from McDonald's. Right. And those are thinner. Okay. And do they like know. them more? I haven't had one in a long time. Do they like them yeah, more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They both like those. Do they like the In-N-Out more or the McDonald's McDonald's more. more. Okay. So they like the McDonald's <laughs> shakes and fries more. Basically, we're horrible parents. <laughs> we should have went to McDonald's, which is like two minutes away instead of trekking 12 minutes away uh, and taking th- nine freeways. Um, and usually I quote the prices and the calories, but... Uh, they don't pay. <laughs> we we furnish their uh, room and board and calorie. When you're a, a, a child, 
calories don't matter. Right. <laughs> and it must be great, right, Luna? <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's get to uh, what you ordered, honey. You had the hamburger protein style, which means no buns, uh, and it's wrapped in lettuce with no onions. Uh, it's 240 calories. Going protein style, uh, you save 150 calories. Yeah. So it's normally 390 calories. How, how was your, uh, your deal? Yet? It was fantastic. Um, so it was the patty. I can't remember if it was one or two tomatoes and mm-hmm. spread and then wrapped in the lettuce. Very good. Very uh, Hard to hold and keep together. It was messy, but whatever. You just go with it. Mm-hmm. It was very delicious. And I was thinking as I was eating it, wow, this hamburger is really good quality. <laughs> yeah. Well, in and in and out cuts no corners. <laughs> yeah. And you know, like the tomatoes are good quality. The lettuce is yes. crisp and green. Yes. It was so good that yes. after I was done eating it, there was like four pieces of lettuce that had fallen on my plate and mm. i i ate those right <laughs> like I, I ate all the lettuce it was well, yeah. so like it, just crispy and it's, there's a it's bit got of sauce on it spread still. on right yeah it was really good yeah you well you wonder uh, in and out's lettuce is such a high bar and you wonder where does burger king <laughs> get their freaking lettuce dude <laughs> their their stuff is highly it's always limp limp uh, white <laughs> mostly white <laughs> not yeah discolored uh so you liked your burger one to ten loved it um nine nine that's a great score. Uh, your fries. So you got animal fries with extra sauce described as, uh, well, it's the French fries with melted cheese, secret spread, and grilled onions piled high on your fries for a whopping, whopping 750 calories. Yikes. That's uh, why I went with the protein burger because I knew my fries oh, were so high. I see. High. You're thinking yeah. ahead. You're you're out here in the, we're, we're out here in 2021 <laughs> and you're out there in 3021. Uh, but how did you like your uh, animal fries with uh, extra sauce? You you made a point to order the extra sauce because I've sometimes ne- they go light on the sauce? I've, well, I, I've never ordered extra sauce, but uh, usually you eat the, you start eating it and then the top is gone, and you're right. left with, like, a layer of dry fries. Right. So I didn't want that to happen because their fries are terrible. <laughs> um, so I got extra sauce. Mm-hmm. And I still ended up with a few dry fr- – it was so weird because I ended up with some dry fries. Good. But then the at the same time, it felt like way too much sauce. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know if I would do that again. But um, another thing is that the animal fries don't travel well. So right. even that brief – well. From the time we like got it and then we're at the table eating it. Yeah. Oh, I ate my burger first too. Yeah. Come to think of it. Yeah. I don't know how long it was then. Yeah. But it just gets really congealed yeah. and it cools. Well, yeah, because when you order fries, they give it, it's, it comes in a little tray and they throw the napkins on there, but it's still allowed to breathe essentially like on by, uh, around the napkin. Mm-hmm. Um, but the animal fries come in a closed container yeah. and we're driving 12 ish minutes. And you, you wouldn't want it opened. But it does right. make it... Uh, the best is probably just to eat it right yeah, when Yeah, you just got to eat it right there. You got to yeah. dine in and, yeah. or eat it in your car. Right eat, it in the <laughs> eat it in the drive-thru. Eat it in the drive-thru while... Eat it as uh, they hand it to you. While they're, while they're uh, preparing your shake, yeah. So nevertheless, it, it was delicious. Mm-hmm. I ate the whole thing. I had a bite. Um, my my thing, and, and this goes like with nachos, I, right. I don't like everything together. Like yeah. if you give me... Uh, uh, some fries and uh, a side of of their uh, sauce, their spread or whatever, with onions and cheese in there, or 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 the fries with cheese and then the the s- spread with grilled onions in it, and so you could dip and control. Just when when it come when it comes together all at once, if you don't eat it yes. right away. Like with nachos, by by like when you're about uh twenty five percent in the nachos, some all, all the all the chips start getting all limp and uh, some just people, nasty. Some people like a soggy chip or a soggy fry. Oh, who are those people? <laughs> Your wife. And what? <laughs> well, if I'd have known this before we got married, honey. Uh, so yeah, I, I had a bride of your, uh, animal fries. They were fine, but again, uh, that's not my thing. Uh, I, I prefer a little dip on the side, uh, so I can control and keep the uh, texture of the fries as fry as possible before getting all limp and, uh, and moist as it were. Uh, but how would you rate your animal fries with extra sauce, darling? <sighs> um, I'm going to go with a seven. Seven. It, the rating would be much higher like a nine if I had eaten them fresh. Hmm. Okay. So. 
Uh, total calories for those two items, uh, 1,070. Yikes. <laughs> Price, 6,020 cents. That's something we don't talk about in and out. It's a great value. Yeah. It is like, totally. like, uh, my, I'll, I'll get to my, my meal, uh, burger, fries, drink, seven bucks. All super high quality. Yeah. Um, your, so your hamburger and animal fries cost 6,020 cents. Uh, obviously, you were a big fan of the bigger fan of the hamburger than the animal fries. So, are you? Are you? Will you continue ordering the animal fries? Are you going to do yes. this until the, your dying day, honey? <laughs> I hope on my deathbed, I'm eating animal fries. <laughs> I'll bring. I'll bring you the animal fries. This was her last. You no, know, or if you go to, uh, you get a death sentence, death penalty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my last meal are animal fries. Fresh, please, if and possible. Bring them quickly, as quickly as possible. <laughs> Get that uh, in and out work man to drive over here and fry everything up. Okay, uh, so we'll move on to my food. Um, I got the the number two, uh, which the guy didn't say number two. He just started. He just <laughs> repeated all of our items quickly in in quick uh, sync syntax. Uh, I got the cheeseburger, uh, no spread, which saves eighty calories because I'm sort of on track. I'm trying to be uh, pretty for our uh, Fisher soiree, which is going down in a week. Um, and I got extra raw onions because I love raw onions. I, I I love the crispness and the moisture and just the tanginess, the sweetness. Ew. It's so good. <laughs> I love I love onions. You know I love onions. Yeah. Uh, and it comes out to uh, uh, 400 calories. So it would be 480 with the spread. Uh, mine was uh, 400 calories. I did get an extra tomato also, <laughs> which I, I didn't order, but... I'm all. Hey. We love tomatoes uh, yes. in the Nicholas family. Uh, my fries were 370 calories. Uh, I got them well done, which that's a consistent <laughs> complaint with fr- In and Out their fries for decades. As long as I've been alive, people are not big fans of their uh, fries. Yeah. Everyone uh, poo poos on the fries, right? For good reason. Yeah, I, McDonald's does a better fry. Everyone does a better fry. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far, honey. Back to Burger King fries. I'm or- in the minority here. I do not like McDonald's fries. Right. I know that's no one. Everyone likes those fries, but um, uh, you don't like def- McDonald's fries, but you like soggy chips. <laughs> I'm questioning everything. But yeah, Mc- McDonald's are way better than In and Out fries. Yeah, uh, I get them well done, which I think uh, takes care of some of the issue. Uh, but well, I'll get to my my uh, review in a second here. Uh, and then for the beverage, I got the Minute Maid Zero Sugar Lemonade. Has 20 calories. Total calories, uh, 790. I got a large size of that. Uh, and the price is $7. Again, fantastic bargain. You you talk about, we're like, because McDonald's extra value meals are reaching $9. McDonald's prices have soared. Yeah, and their quality isn't... It's horrible. <laughs> ...near as as high as in and out Yeah. Um. So let me, let me review what uh, I ate. My lemonade, the Minimade Zero Sugar Lemonade, it was good. You it's had good. it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I, I really enjoy their pink lemonade. Yeah. Because it's kind of punching you in your face sour. And you, I, I have fond memories of drinking that when I was a kid. Do you remember the, sh- the sugar count for the large pink lemonade? Yeah. It was over 90 it grams. It was 92 grams of sugar oh, in a large pink lemonade. Right. Right, so that's me, we were like, okay, we'll go with the yeah. zero sugar. <laughs> give me that Splenda, yo. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's and but but it's so good and it's pink and they got it on in in the in the clear container that you. Well, I don't know do? if if it's how during COVID now, but oh. they used to have it in the clear container where they oh yeah yeah they do the the waterfall <laughs> effect on the sides yeah. and you can go up and drink a ton of it mm. and i used to love that stuff but i'm on i'm trying to be on track for the mm. fisher uh soiree in in uh in a week that we're having here yeah we're uh, going to the gym after this oh yes we are <laughs> actually uh we literally are yes and okay so drink good not great but solid uh now we're moving on to my fries, which I got well done, which you handed to me uh, when we were kind of doling every, all the all of our food out. And you said, uh, as you handed them to me, you said, quote, here are your burnt fries, <laughs> unquote. Thanks, honey. <laughs> well, I, I, well, I thought they were fantastic. Uh, they were. I had a bite um, and I was like, wow, this really improves them because you and you also sprinkled some extra salt on top. Right. Well, do you want my uh, life hack? I do. My TikTok cooking life hack. Uh, get the fries well done. Uh, 
ask for salt. They give you little pouches of salt. Put put one or two on there, but don't go crazy because you can over salt. Uh, and then they they gave us ketchup. Not a lot. <laughs> it was more <laughs> a couple packets, but we have ketchup packets from IHOP yeah. from last week, two yeah. weeks ago. Oh my gosh, we're eating out a lot. No, we're not. Uh, just on the weekend. Once a week, right? Uh, but we we have ketchup packets in the fridge, so you go fries well done, sprinkle a little salt on there, cold ketchup. Mm. You're set. I didn't get that's ketchup, good eaten, but just the fry with salt that I tasted way better than just their plain fries as they come. Yeah. Again, Lennox ate about uh, a third of his fries. I'd say 20%. And he was like, I don't want these anymore. And we were like, mm. I, I had a couple of them. And I was like, these are not good. Usually you'll eat all his leftover food. But even you were like, I'm not eating those. Right. But well done. Uh, salt, cold ketchup from your fridge. Uh, my burger. Now, this this was the disappointment, but I blame myself. I, I got it. No salt. No sauce. No sauce. So- Spread sauce, whatever. Um, but and I thought it would come with because we were put we were uh, clicking around on their website, and I thought if you get it no sauce, they'll throw some ketchup and mustard on there. Turns out they didn't. You have to ask for it specifically. Oh. So there was no condiment. There was no moisture uh, on my burger. Although the tomato was a very ripe tomato, and their onions are excellent, um, but there was no uh, sauce on mine, and so. Uh, I was, I, I should have specified, like, put, throw some uh, ketchup and mustard on there. Uh, it was, it was, I mean, it is an In-N-Out burger. Great, great bun. Great meat. The toasted bun is a winner. Great vegetables on there. Uh, but it needed something. Mm. It needed a little sauce. Why didn't you add ketchup or mustard here at home? Well, I did. Uh, oh, well, did. I, because I, we had a bunch of ketchup packets yeah. going on. Uh, and I, I did. Oh, okay. But, uh. Eh. <laughs> I wish it was part of the of the burger, mm-hmm. part of the burger's DNA. Um, so and and in the end, I mean, I'm on track, uh, but I and I saved 80 calories uh, by not getting the sauce. But next time, I'm just gonna get the sauce. Yeah. I'll get the it's sauce. I'll get the 80 calories, and I'll spend an extra uh, 45 minutes at the at the Planet Fitness, as it were. Um, so. Again, it was good, but it was a bit of a letdown because mm. there was no sauce on it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would, well, I'll get to my rating. Uh, <laughs> uh, the lemonade, solid seven. Fries, oh, I, we've never given a 10, honey. And I'm still not going to. <laughs> okay. uh, I'll give them a nine because mm-hmm. they were far out, yeah. firecracker, explosive Super yummy. Impressed me, your hack there, the way you do it. Yeah. Uh, and then my burger, I'll go a six and a half. Oh. But again, it's my fault. Okay. So get the spread. Or if you don't get the spread, uh, get... Uh, ketchup and mustard? Get it with ketchup and mustard. Exactly. Alrighty. So that's it. We had a good lunch. You know what? It was a good time. We were there at 10, well, 10, 28, <laughs> first in line. It took about seven minutes to get our food. We were back and uh, we were eating Luna Marie, the fastest eater in, in the in the galaxy, in the West. Uh, Lennox Albert <laughs> ate about 10% of his fries. Uh, but I was looking, I looked at the clock. We were all done with lunch, quote unquote lunch at 11.15. I was like, that's our family. Yeah. We're done. It's early. And we're out here. Let's all move on to our electronics now. Right. Let's all go back to ignoring each other. All righty. Well, that's the end of the program. It's been fun, but not really. Let's all try a little harder next time. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, or don't. Do whatever you want. You're a grown-up. Make your own decisions. Do what's best for your family. Please be sure to use our Casper Mattress promo code. We don't have a Casper Mattress promo code. Goodbye. I love you. We love you. We hope you have a good day today and tomorrow. And yeah, I may have called out uh, the my uh, the people who are <laughs> the per- one person who may have ordered uh, six double doubles <laughs> to himself or herself. Hope they enjoyed it. But I've been there, and I'm still a good person, and we're still good people. Okay, that's the official end of the program. But here's some bonus content for our Patreon supporters. We don't have a Patreon. Uh, for all you fans of ASMR or Mukbang, or if you're a furry 
Here is us eating our in and out meal. Enjoy. And a oop. Babe, our next chandelier is going to be higher, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, please, please. <laughs> Should I sit in my usual spot? Yes. Yeah. 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 Or... My spot! Because usually on the weekends I sit next to you. Right. Deep deep. <laughs> These are our weekend seats. <laughs> It's just me and you switching, it's fine. Okay. Which one is vanilla? You got vanilla, right? Yeah. That's vanilla. Taste Chocolate. it. Chocolate. I don't want it. Oh, these are your burnt fries. Oh, is it here now? No, you sit over there. Yeah, this is like barely any ketchup. For, for Thank goodness for fries, IHOP. Plus your animal fries. Bye bye, baby. You want salt? Not fair. Yep. Thanks, darling. Mommy. Hold on. Um, a bunch fell out. Say what now? <gasps> and it flies good. You. Wait, don't. There you go. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. We're recording. Yeah, oh, hot. we're recording. What? They're not hot. You can just clip it. You can put them in the microwave if you want. Well, we had to drive home, you know? So. Where's that from? <laughs> the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get me to shake? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yay. Look at all this lettuce. Look at the lettuce. Wow. Yummy. Salad. You want my lettuce, Len? This is a mess. <laughs> You're so right on the onions. <laughs> but is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm. Dude, these fries are legit. How long should I make one each? Hmm? How yeah. long should I microwave these? Mm -hmm. How long? Oh, um. 35 seconds. I was gonna say 20. 40 years. <laughs> what? How long? Pick uh, one. <laughs> 25. Experiment. I just put again. Okay. I'm sorry. Where is that? Um. What is that? There's no bun. Yeah, the bun is the lettuce. Animare style. No. Low carb, yo. Protein style. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fries are animal. You I'm going to keep mine up after one because they're not hot. Um, real quick, do I do it with, uh, with the paper on or without the paper? Because Lennox is doing it with the paper. Yeah, you can do it with. And this is my first time having in and out in like a couple of years. Because mm -hmm. I only had it once when I was like two. So like maybe ten years. Yeah, we don't go there. Hard Do you hard. actually remember that when you were two? Uh, I remember getting a milkshake just with this type of design. So I'm guessing I went. But I was like really, really young. Mm -hmm. So I just remember like this, like mm -hmm. the, this type of trees on my milkshake. Like now you're really, really old. Type, yeah. Lumen's hair is helpful straight. Try that, but... We straightened it like, what was that, two days ago? Wednesday. Yeah. And then oh. at night I put it in the bun so then it doesn't get messy oh. and then I just brush it this out. Is just learning all the girl <laughs> secrets. Did you get two slices of tomatoes? I don't remember. Jeez, lover. I just ate it, I don't remember. Because I asked for extra onions, but. Yeah, I wonder if two. Oh, wait, there is extra onion. Okay, not good. Yay. Do you Hot. want my lettuce? Mm, no. <laughs> I only it's like iceberg lettuce. Hey. This is iceberg, but it, it does have sauce on it. Oh. At least you like it. I do like it a lot. Okay. Do you know what I was talking about the Japanese style building I built on my Minecraft server? Yeah. It's not really Japanese style, but I want to show it to you. Okay. Here's our drink here. And from the very top of the thing, you can you have a a really good view of Griefer Town. Of what? Griefer Town. Oh, yeah. That's the town I made. It has 
It only has one building where you can sleep, but I'm planning on making more. Mm. And yes. you probably can tell it's called Griefer Town. Grievers or Griefers? Because Grievers Grief. is like the maze runner. Griefer. Show me after we eat, okay? B or F? Hmm. Right? F. Griefer. 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 Because you know Griefers are, right? No. Like people who grief stuff? The trolls, right? No, they like into the thing in Minecraft where you like go up to someone's base and like explode it. Oh it. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, you know, I'm in love with blowing stuff up. <laughs> yep. That's literally all I do. Top speed block could go from my hero academia. He's a griefer. Look at my prize, you guys. Oh. Why do you like that? Called, they got sauce. Called animal style. They put onions and sauce and cheese on them. They didn't put any sauce on here. You said no sauce. I know, but oh. shouldn't I thought the website indicated that I'm not, maybe I need to specify ketchup and mustard. Yeah, I think you do. Because I remember when we were looking at the nutrition thing, it showed it with ketchup and mustard instead, and then it also showed it with nothing. Mm. I'm pretty like. This doesn't sure just, I saw that. just like. Oh, McDonald's or whatever, mm -hmm. wherever we go to. The shake? Yeah. Is it better or worse than McDonald's shakes? It's not really like... It's not worse. It's like the whipped cream's like thick. So when you drink it, you just get a little whipped cream. So it's like you don't actually get the milkshake. You just get the whipped cream. Yeah. Is there whipped cream in it? Yeah. yeah. I think so. Because otherwise the milkshake would be hecka thick. So they only have one size of shakes? Mm-hmm. I should not have gotten extra sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's too much sauce. Mm -hmm. They're not extra size. You don't want those? I mean, I'm just saying. Do you oh, no, no, no. You eat them. No, it's good. It's fine. <laughs> so I said extra sauce because the fries on the bottom are always dry. Mm -hmm. But this is a bit much. Animal fries don't travel well. <laughs> mm. They congeal. Still how could get though. Your fries are cooked more than theirs? Arnado? I believe so, yeah. He told them to cook his well mm. done. But why? Can I have a napkin? Uh, sure. Oh, wait, I got it. Can I open up the milk? Of course. No. I like to open up the milk. Oh, this, it's like thick, but it's also watery. Wow. Wow. It's like kind of like melted mm -hmm. ice cream. Like. There's um, melted ice cream, but then there's also like the ice cream that's so cool that's not melted. My, my Japanese style building is like a, it's a demon slayer museum, basically. What's inside of it? It's a museum. <laughs> yeah. But what's in your museum? Artifacts. Yeah, artifacts from demon slayer. <laughs> Do you have a gift shop? Mm. Come here, bite lover. I'll get you a good bite. Don't give me all those sauce calories. Just kidding. You don't like the animal style stuff? Well, with the burger, it's just it just means they cook the patty in mustard, right? They fry it with mustard. I've never gotten an animal style burger, only fries. Mm. I assumed it was just the burger, and then just like the fries, they just throw the um, the onions and the cheese. 
Because it already has this spread. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they do. Actually. Are you recording? They fry it in mustard. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm done. I finished all my food. Tell us your thoughts and feelings. No. Um. It was good, but uh, I think personally the milkshake was like too thick. That's just me. Too thick? Yeah. Mm. But because I think there's also some like whipped cream in there that was thick. But overall, it was really good. What do you think about your fries? Um, they were good. <laughs> I um, don't really fries. Good, I'm not a good critic. I don't. <laughs> Be like a Joe on Master no. Show. Because <laughs> he's Be like Gordon Ramsay. Like one bite, and then he'd be like. I'm very disappointed. And then he'd go, get a trash can, be my guest. And then he'd have the contestants throw away their food. Is that the bald guy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my opinion, this, these fries aren't the best. Yeah. So I get them well done. <laughs> a lot of people hate in and out fries, and they talk ill Hate's of a strong them. Word, Speak ill of them. I, I do yeah, this is going to be my last fry. fry. Is? What? I prefer other fries than these fries. Yeah. Should Frankie eat them? Maybe. Should I give these to Frankie? No. <laughs> Maybe like a six out of ten overall. Maybe like a five. Yeah, ten. What's your rating then? <coughs> five point five. That's yeah. okay. Not the best. But Thanks for I mean, coming like on. Do you have anything to plug, Luna? No. Uh, follow your Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Where can we find you online? Nowhere. <laughs> Tell people what's going on in your life. Follow <laughs> my TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. What's your TikTok name? Uh. <laughs> your agent needs to talk to you. <laughs> your publicist needs to have a. Ooh. It's the bomb, huh? These are good when you get them. You put extra salt and you got them well done. Mm -hmm. These are much better than just regular. Good hack, honey. Today. What's happening? <laughs> he said, How come we didn't get to see the Demon Slayer movie today? Because we had to eat in and out. Why? <laughs> For posterity. <laughs> um, well, can we go now? How tomorrow? Let me think about it. Tomorrow. You you gave me zero point five seconds to think about it. Okay, you can think about it. Let me think about it today. Will Luna Marie go? Yes. It will be gory though. I know. I'm also, nervous. there's no TV fourteen rating though. Did it, like isn't there like no TV fourteen rating on TVs? On yeah. like movies? Well, I think they have a TV fourteen on Netflix. The TV ratings. Fourteen. That's the TV rating, and then movies have different ratings, like R, PG thirteen, PG. You know. Yeah. So TV fourteen is basically R. Because I would think it would. It's equivalent. I think TV fourteen is equivalent to PG thirteen, and right. then I think TV mature is equivalent to rated R. But remember, I was telling you that even though the TV show is TV fourteen, they could have made the movie more gory. That's why it has I'm an R rating. They did. Yeah. But I'm still gonna watch it because I watched that whole series like ten times in a row. It's very gory. What is Frankie doing? He's like smacking. <laughs> oh, he's in my bed. He was smacking on your bed sheets. <laughs> your bed. Well, I mean, he was on my side of the bed. What's he doing? Aw. Hmm. Do you want to save those, Lynn? He's, he's licking his dink. Those fries are not going to be good later, I think. Or I don't know, maybe they will. We could put them in That's the air fryer. You, you want them, Vince? Why did you call me a bitch? <laughs> I was gonna because I was gonna say Lennox, do you want to give them to Vince? And then so in my mind I was thinking your name, and then I didn't end up saying that. Okay. I'm gonna die of hypothermia. That's how cold this is. <laughs> Yours is uh, chocolate, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll see we now. <laughs> Rest in power. Is it good? How's your milkshake? 